Hi guys, welcome back. It's John from Creative Tap, um, and in this tutorial, we're going to be finishing off our little um, sort of bed um, by creating a duvet and having the duvet fall over it with some end cloth. Okay, so if, if you've missed the previous two, in the first one we made the bed frame and the mattress. Uh, last time we made a pillow with the um, end dynamic end cloth dynamics. Um, so let's jump ahead and start making the next part. So we're going to get our plane, poly plane. <clears throat> okay move it into place um, start scaling this out uh, like so and we want it a little bit wider than the bed okay just so it falls over the sides then we'll make it taller and I want mine kind of falling on the pillow as well so I'll just move this down just something like that okay great excellent now let's pull this up okay you also want to make sure you've got loads of subdivisions in here I'm probably just gonna turn mine to 50 to be honest or maybe yeah, maybe 40 why not um, actually 30 30 37 let's just go for 37 38 then 38 there you go made my mind up finally um, excellent so um, what you want to do is go to um, effects or end mesh and dynamics depending on whatever um, version you run in uh, with this object select go to end cloth create end cloth make sure that you then select your pillow um, and your mattress and go to end cloth or you may have to go to end mesh and click create passive collider um, fields and solvers make sure you've got a gravity field and so we've got this what you also may want to do is select select in um, with, with um with sorry with your match selected go to um, oh where is it now it's collisions um, no, your nucleus. Sorry, go to your nucleus. Uh, ground plane. You want this to be. Um, you want there to be friction so it doesn't slide off. So I'm going to turn mine up to about 0.7. Stickiness up to about 0.5, I think. Just that way, it's not going to fall off. Okay. Make sure you've got enough frames to play with. So I've got 200 frames for here. And what we're going to do with this plane is we're going to click play. Okay, and then it's going to fall onto there like that, and hopefully not slide off completely. I don't mind if it slides off the pillow. Um, okay, so I'm going to go. Maybe what I may do is I may give myself more frames. So I'm going to give 300. Okay, so we'll play back 300, and I'm going to go for one of the later ones. Maybe. I'm, what I might do is I might turn the stickiness up in that nucleus again. Okay, because um, it's not sliding off a little bit too easy so friction up and let's bring the stickiness up okay so let's go back frame one and preview again you may have to do that yourself um, I think yeah I'm gonna go with this one okay so what I'm gonna do is edit um, um, edit delete all by type history and so now if we go back to frame one and play this is there, okay? It's always there. Um, we've deleted, you know, the history of it. So what I'm going to do is um, get my object. Um, I'm actually going to put an extrude on there to give it a little bit of thickness. So extrude, and you want to go very minute with this, okay? So in the thickness, I'm going to go 0.5. Um, and we're already getting a little bit there. So um, what we can do is go to the trend translate 0.05 okay and yeah that's where we're going to get our thickness from the actual translate okay otherwise it can go a little bit crazy okay next <clears throat> select the object go back to modeling mesh and uh, I always come into the wrong one don't I edit mesh smooth um, okay the other way is um, shift right click and here it is smooth ah finally found it and there we go we have got now a much smoother nice organic feeling duvet okay um, so all I would do to finish off this bed is I'm gonna apply some Lamberts uh, so assign new material um, I you know I probably will end up you know texturing this in you know a really nice way um, but just so you can kind of see what our finished product is let's give that the same one 
Let's give the mattress a white Lambert. So, um, sign new material, Lambert, white, and then everything else, um, just a nice sort of generic brown Lambert. And you can go much further with this, guys. You can go and bump map stuff um, and all that. But I think the, the stuff I really wanted to get across was the um, actually the pillow and the duvet. Okay. So this is our finished kind of bed. You can texture it whatever way you like, but it's just kind of basic sort of low poly kind of stylized bed. Um, so yeah, cheers for tuning in. I hope you found all this useful. Uh, if you did, leave a comment, like, rate, subscribe, all that jazz. Check out our other Maya tutorials, um, other After Effects, Illustrator, Photoshop stuff. Um, yeah, and hopefully see you again soon. Check us out on Twitter and Facebook. But yeah, cool. See you in a bit. Cheers.